Hey, yeah, uh, we're doing a, a video on the 12 volt um, solar off grid battery bank cabinet build, and we're, we're showing the performance what it does. All right, since I've rechanged my cables out and this and that, and redid, redid a lot of things on it. So let's check it out. All right, I got a 1500 watt heat master heater on it, and this is cool. I got to share it, share it with y'all. And here's the inverter. Look, right now we just got the fan on. And we're burning about 21, 21 watts. Turn upside down. 21 watts. And let's turn. All right, no, no tricks now. 21 watts. We're turning on low. That's low, sitting right there. All right. Now we're burning about 345, 370 watts. We're still holding up 13.3 volts. Now I'll turn it to high. That's on high. 1500 watts. Ceramic heater. We're still holding twelve, twelve, twelve volts. And on the um, it's showing you the how much power we're burning through 1200 watts or 11.3 amps. All right, the fault sounds going off. Let's turn it down below. We'll turn it back down below. And it's just a test. And this is Xantrax Pro Watt. 2000 mutton brother. We had to handle it, but it's just not battery banks. It's not quite big enough. We're back on the low side. It's steadily going down. Let's see what the battery bank's doing now. All right, what's some warm heat coming out of there? Definitely. And on the back it says ceramic heater, uh, 1500 watts. I can see. Made in China. I <laughs> bought it years ago. But good little heater. So we're running purely off solar. The uh, IOTA, I got to settle on the little ceramic heater. That is off right now, the IOTA, I'm just gonna test it. But test it with just, with, just solar without the, the back of AC charger. So right here it says we're burning, it says we're burning, making 260 watts. A solar at 12.2 volts. Okay. MPPT float. So we're bringing in the power. Might need to change up the bulk. So, but anyway, make some adjustments here. And the trimetric, we're about 0.2 volts off. Hey, we're holding. We're holding though. We're drawing 800, uh, let's see how much watts we're drawing now. Um, let's do it at 890.
hunt and then watch. Eight hundred eighty. And this is that was thermostat on it. So what we'll do? It'll, it'll cut on off. This is just a test. If you really want to test test that on the system what you got, what it'll run. This is the way to do it. But that is cool. That's nine hundred watts. We're holding a voltage and our state of charge. Shoot, state of charge is still going up. We're at one hundred three percent. I see the. That was at 250, it means 250 watts coming in. Let's see the day since charge, amp hours. Yeah, we're, we're bringing this amp hours now. Day since charge, 0.7, this move party met charged. What about the volts? Or watts. Let's see about the watts. We're still holding. 12.2. It's supposed to be bulk at 12.0. is what I got it set for. So I just turned it on high. Hold in the power. All right, let's turn this puppy back up. Uh oh, just heard my inverter. That's the fans for the inverter coming on. All right, one second. I think I'm out. I think I'm out of blew my switch. One second. Okay, the the heater all didn't blow. I didn't blow anything on the inverter. The fault light uh did come on and it, it the inverter did shut itself off. And like I said, this is a test. Let's see what this thing, thing will handle. Uh if I had a bigger bigger battery bank and more solar panels, it'd definitely handle a whole lot more. But I'm happy. And Make y'all dizzy again. We're still drawing 788 watts. And this is what we're burning. 5.8 amps. There's 720 watts. This is a kick button burner, y'all. What it did, the thermostat, when it shut, when it got low battery voltage, this heater automatically shut itself off. The thermostat mode. But we're still set at low. As you see right here, <laughs> sorry about that. Right here, low setting. Yeah, yeah it's on low. But the only, really, only way to really test out your system is to uh, yeah, put it to test. We're drawing 270 watts. Let me turn some of these lights out, y'all. Yeah, I turned the light out above us. Still glare, that's from outside, but anyway. Drawing in 270 watts. Yeah, bring in 52.9 volts. We're still at 12.2 volts. We're at MPPT float. Bring in 21.7 amps and we're still at 12 volt but the kicker is when I turn the thermostat down it's going back the power's going back up Yeah, it helps a lot. There you go. Power's coming right back up. And like I said, the Iota DLS charger shut off. Wait a moment. So, I mean, the state of charge, we're good.
state of charge is good. Batteries bounce right back. All right. And move bounce right back. Here. All right. Let's take you outside and show you the conditions, what everything's going. The heater's heater's in the um, thermostat mode right now, it's shut off. Let's just say just a little little test. Alright, let's go outside. Hey conditions outside folks. Um right now, about three mile an hour wind. It's thirty seven point nine outside. We're at thirty eight degrees. And it's twelve fifty in the afternoon. Okay, y'all, these are the uh, solar panels. I say those two two right there, that these all these three are here from a small off-grid system. That's a 120-watt Alt-E panel, polycrystalline, 120-watt, which would be 240 watts, and that's a 100-watt Alt-E polycrystalline panel. They're all set at 53-degree angle. And today is March 12th. So, yeah, they're doing doing a good job. Uh, all together, that's 340 watts, and all tied in um, series. So, you see what it's doing. And I cleaned up my mess the other day, all my spaghetti wire and all that good junk. But it'll run a small air conditioner, no problem. No problem. And those batteries are eight. 2009, those batteries are eight years old. So let's go back inside and take a look. But we got, I mean, here's the perfect conditions. Crystal clear blue sky. And then this is, you want to put your system to test, see what it'll do. So that'll run a deep freeze, no problem. You know, small deep freeze or, you know, or college refrigerator, or maybe even a big refrigerator. It's 2,000 watts, it's got enough surge to do what it's got to do. Okay, y'all, you know, the heater just cut back. I'm just, we're back inside the shop. The heater just cut back on. Um, we're burning 816 watts. I'm turning you upside down again. <laughs> 816 watts. That's what we're burning. Right now. Okay. Or 750, what that reads. 11.7 amps. All right. So, but yeah, it's warm air coming out of there. It's ramming heater. Um, we're at 12.2 volts. Protect the glare. We're drawing in 51.8 volts. 12.2 volts. We're at 12.2 volts. We're bringing 260 watts of power, or 21.21 point, 21 .1 amps. All right. So, hey, and that's what that's what the iota. This is off right now. The iota charge is off, right here. But hey, it's it's doing it. I mean, the high setting's kind of high. Y'all see what it did on the high setting, but like I say, it's just a test. But hey, anyway, just want to give y'all a little rundown of what it'll do. And I, man, I can't wait to get the new batteries. Woo! They say that they say the Outback Nano Carbon batteries. From what I heard, people say they're you can bring you can bring down a fifty percent charge, and it, you know, they kick butt. But anyway, hey, I'm. Universal battery is not bad. You see what it does. All right. Well, it's a it's a shorty video here, but hey, anyway, folks, we'll be back after a while. I'm gonna pick some collard greens and all the good junk and make a video of that. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye bye.